Okay, Jaya alaikum. In this lecture, um, I'm going to talk about uh, one of the uh, two project schedule compression techniques. Uh, one is called uh, fast tracking and the other is called crashing. So uh, first we'll talk about fast tracking specifically in this lecture and I'll do a, a separate video for crashing which is a bit more longer type of a uh, process and a more intensive uh, process, right? So let's try to understand this idea of fast tracking. Now fast tracking means that what we're trying to do is that we're trying to reduce the time duration of a existing project. Uh, we have to understand that fast tracking is not a optional type of a, um, a method that we have. Rather, it is something that we must do wherever the opportunity arises. So the purpose of fast tracking is to bring activities into each other, right? So for example, we have an activity A, uh, which is then succeeded by another activity B, right? So we can assume that they have a finish to start relationship. So activity A is going to begin, is going to run for its duration, it will come to a conclusion, and then uh, the second activity will begin after activity A has come to a, uh, to a complete stop, right? Now, by doing fast tracking, what we try to do is that we try to bring a part of activity B into A. So in a way, we're saying that activity A has not finished as yet, but we can run activity A for a certain duration of time until we are ready to sort of begin activity B. So let's assume that activity A is a design activity and activity B is a construction activity, right? So we don't have to wait for the entire design to be completed in order to begin the construction of something. So let's suppose that 50% uh, or 60% of the design is complete, which would be sufficient for us to begin our construction. We could do some bits of construction and during this time, the rest of the design is, is in the process of, of completion. So we basically do part of A, we get the approval for that part, and that is sufficient for us to begin activity uh, B. So this is how it goes. And, then, and you have to remember that it's not an optional thing, rather it is something uh, mandatory and compulsory. So wherever we can find an opportunity to uh, sort of do an activity, uh, and, and uh, fast track it, so we should be able to, uh, we should go forward with it and do it, right? So let me turn on Project Libre, and I'll, I'll show you how this is going to work there, right? So let me show the screen here. Just one second, share screen. Uh, Project Libre is right here, so share it, okay. So here's Project Libre, and we'll, uh, we're starting up a new project, so let's call this as fast tracking, right? and we'll press okay, and we get our uh, standard view in front of us, so we've got activities A, and let's suppose we've got an activity B, uh, let's suppose further that A is 10 days in length, and B is 10 days in length, and let's suppose uh, also that the predecessor for B is activity A. So this is normally how this relationship would look like where we have A finishing and then B is going to begin after A has finished, right? So this is the normal case, right? Now what we're saying is that we're going to move this activity B backwards we're going to move it inside of a right so if i if i pull this bar and bring it backwards let's see what happens right nothing is going to happen it's going to pop out again right okay what if i remove this dependency altogether what happens then is i've got two different bars right now i can i can move this bar forward i can move this bar backward and I can have these activities aligned with each other in, in, in a concurrent type of a manner, such that activity A and B are now taking place in parallel rather than taking place in succession, right? So if I do something of this nature, I'm doing basically fast tracking, right? Now, the problem here is that because I've removed the dependency, Activity A has now become a separate activity than activity B. Uh, the linking between these two has sort of vanished, right? Now, if I do one um, FS, 
uh, what happens in the software is that it automatically uh, generates this finish to start relationship for us, uh, but it has now moved activity B to occur after A has come to a conclusion. So this is not what we want. Rather, we want the relationship amongst these activities to remain intact, but we want to bring B towards the left-hand side. We want to begin it uh, before the entire A has come to a conclusion, right? So what if I put in a SS relationship between the two? And the moment I do an SS relationship, I still get some sort of a connectivity between the two of them. It may not be the right type of connectivity, uh, but there's some limitation in the software which sort of prevents us to, to have the finish to start relationship and yet and still do uh, fast tracking. So this is a limitation of the software. Technically or ideally, I should be having a FS relationship here and that black arrow would be sort of generated from the end of activity A and it would move towards the left hand side here and then reconnect with the red uh, bar here which is activity B. But at least uh, this, this is the workaround that we could do is that we can have a SS relationship amongst the two and we're putting them in, in parallel to each other, right? So doing this is called fast track. Now, again, I'll reiterate my point, which is that we're not saying that a is a separate activity to B. Rather, what we're trying to say is that A is linked to B. Uh, that is that A is the predecessor for B and B is a succeeding activity. But here we're saying that we don't have to finish all of A in order for us to begin B. Rather, we can do part of A. Uh, I'll just sort of remove that. So we'll do part of A and that would tell us that we can do uh, or begin activity B here, right? So if we do something of this nature, this is called fast tracking. And uh, as I'm suggesting to you, the only way for us to uh, show this on, on the software is through the start to start relationship. If I, if I do a finish to start, it doesn't work. If I do a finish to finish, it works, but it's not the right type of uh, relationship where we're, um, in this case, we're saying that both of them have to sort of finish together. All right, if I do a, a one SF, that's also not the right relationship. So the only possibility I'm left with uh, to do fast tracking on this uh, software is to introduce the one SS relationship uh, where we're suggesting that A uh, is, is done to a certain extent, part of A completes, and that allows us to begin B, and that is called fast tracking, right? And you have to remember that fast tracking is not optional, rather it is mandatory. So wherever we can do fast tracking, we will offer it and we'll introduce that in there, right? We also have to remember that fast tracking is something that is not done at the time of the execution of the project, rather this is something that you plan for. So it's a part of the planning process and it has to be done when the project plans are being made. The execution will begin later on and when the execution begins, this fast tracking will be implemented at the execution time. Okay, thank you very much.